The topic of this essential lesson is simplifying a logarithm into a form that can be worked on a calculator. There are two ways of doing this, two different forms of logarithm. We're simply going to look at logarithm base 10. Some other time we'll look at something called the natural logarithm. But I want to keep the process simple for what we are trying to accomplish. Let's assume that some answer you got was written in this form here, logarithm base 3 of 4. And we wish to change it to a form where we can get an approximate answer using a calculator. Now remember, this is an expression. When we work expressions, we work down. We don't use an equal sign and work off to the side. That equal sign will be occupied by something else when we're doing real mathematics. And we don't want to use that space and get the idea that simplification works to the right or to the left. Simplification works down when you're working a problem. Okay, I said all of that. <laughs> Let's look into this part, which is a very simple part. Here we go. Create a fraction bar. To receive the answer, this becomes logarithm still. It's now base 10. I'm going to remove the base, but I'm going to keep the 4. I'm almost done. In the denominator, I write the, write the word logarithm again, and it's still base 10, and this time it catches the 3, and I'm finished. That is all the process is. How do you remember the process? Converting to base 10 means 1, write a fraction bar, 2, write 2 logarithm base 10s, fill it up from the top, 4, 3, and you're finished. Let's look at another example. Logarithm base 2 of x, rewrite it in base 10, draw a fraction bar, two logarithms, x from the top, 2 from the bottom, and you have log x of log 2, and you're finished. Another example, fine. Logarithm base 17 of w squared minus 5, Another luck. Enjoy these look ugly problems. They'll stop other people, but they'll never stop you. Here we go. Write a fraction bar. Logarithm w squared minus 5 over logarithm 17. And you're done. Now, how can this be made to look harder? How can it be made to fool you? Let's look at some examples of things that might get in your way of doing this simple process. something like this. Logarithm base 4 of 12 plus 9. Oh my heavens, you say it's a plus 9. I can't do the problem. I was never shown how to do this. Well, I'm showing you now. This is what we want to simplify. Draw a fraction bar. Two logarithms. First one is a logarithm of 12. 12 is on the top. It stays on the top. 4 is lower. It stays lower. That part has been finished. What about the plus 9? What about the plus 9? There it is. You're done. Really? You're done. Let's look at another example. 5 times the logarithm, base 7 of W. Someone says convert this to base 10. You say, fine, I'm going to do it. by a fraction bar. Logarithm, logarithm, W. 7. Now what about the 5? You have a choice. You can put it in front and put parentheses around the whole thing. You can put it in the numerator. Where do you put it? That's pretty much up to you. My suggestion, keep it in the numerator. There's going to be things you can do with it later. But you have now converted it to base 10. A couple more examples. Some teacher wants to make this look really tough for them. Say logarithm, base 9, x squared, minus 1, and all of this over 11. I always like to show a problem with a 
fraction in the denominator where there's going to be another fraction involved. There's a basic rule. When you're dividing and dividing again, you use the same denominator. When two numbers or expressions share the same space, you multiply them. Those are a lot of fancy words for something very simple that I'm going to show you now. Here we go. Keep the 11 in the denominator. Follow the rule. You have a fraction bar, logarithm up here, logarithm down here, same fraction bar, don't create a new one. X squared minus 1 up here. You need the parentheses still. The whole thing is in the argument. Keep the 9 down here. You can use or not use the parentheses as you wish. There's only one term. You're finished. That's all there is to it. Another one. Logarithm. Base 2 of 7 minus W looks bad. Draw a fraction bar. Logarithm, logarithm, 7 minus W, 2. Remember, this is logarithm base 10, logarithm base 10, logarithm base 10, logarithm base 10. Our goal was to change a logarithm base to base 10, and we've done it. A logarithm, some other base, to base 10, and we've done it. Thank you very much.